Gutierrez has been on the ground following the backlash. Gabe, what's going on there now? It looks like a whole lot. Allison, right now San Juan is at a standstill. As you can see behind me, we're underneath an overpass right now. Many of these protesters came here to escape the rain, and so they crowded into this small space. But as you can see, there are just so many people here, and they're all demanding that Governor Ricardo Rosillo resign. As you mentioned, he has been under fire now for several weeks after those uh, those uh, chat messages, those private messages, were uh, leaked and published by the Center for Investigative Journalism here in Puerto Rico. In yesterday's announcement, Governor Rosillo said that he would not resign, that he would step down as the head of his political party and would not seek re-election this next year. But that hasn't sat well with many of the protesters here who say they won't quit unless the governor does. And I'm joined now by, ma'am, what's your name? My name is Jay Gonzalez. Why are you here today? I'm here because I'm tired of the corruption. We, the Puerto Rican people, are tired of the corruption. We um, came together and we want our governor to leave. I mean, we fire him. It's not about resigning, it's about we fire him as the people of Puerto Rico. Now, the governor said yesterday on Facebook Live that he wouldn't seek re-election, <laughs> that he would step down as the head of his political party, but that he wouldn't resign. But him not seeking re-election, is that enough for you? No, we, we already knew what, what he was going to say, and we um, are devastated, and um, we just, you know, we're tired. That's why we are here. Is this just about those private messages, or is it also about no, something more? it's not about the private messages. It's about the corruption. We are tired of the corruption. I mean, we came together to fight not only the, the, the you know, the Pena I mean, all of the politicians that are corrupt. That's why we're here today. Thank you so much for talking Thank to you. us, man. Thank, Thank you very much. So, Allison, this is something we've been hearing over and over again. People saying that it's not just about this most recent political scandal. There's this overwhelming frustration here after Hurricane Maria and actually dating back before Hurricane Maria. There is a feeling here that they are frustrated with their government, what they see as corruption within their government. And the week before those chat, those uh, private messages were leaked, several local officials were arrested by federal authorities and accused of corruption. So now there is this feeling here that, you know, many people here think that this is something that's been pent up for a very long time, and they feel that they are finally being heard. Organizers estimate that at least 250,000 people have come out to protest today. That could be a very low estimate. At one point, they thought that as many as a million people show up. It's tough to tell when these types of things happen, what exactly the crowd size is, but I can't tell you. I have not seen a demonstration this large in Puerto Rico. The one we saw last week had maybe a few, a couple of tens of thousands of people. This one appears to be much larger and it's expected to continue throughout the day. Allison? Hey Gabe, I know you're dealing with a really lot of noise right now. Quick question for you, if you can hear me. We're hearing that lawmakers are weighing impeachment today. Can you tell us the latest on that? Well, that, that is the big question right now. If Ricardo Rosillo were to step down, there is actually no clear successor at this point. He has lost the support of most politicians here in Puerto Rico, including many of those from his own party. A lot of... Sorry, it's getting a little loud in here as a motorcycle comes through, but um, a lot of the lawmakers are really weighing whether or not to move ahead with impeachment proceedings. That is why many of these protesters said that it's inevitable. Let me pause here. Sorry about that, Allison. That's live television here. This is a very <laughs> boisterous crowd, and every time that a motorcycle comes through, uh, they get even louder. But as I was saying, the question right now is, is there a path forward for Ricardo Rosillo? And the answer is, it's hard to see that path forward. Many of these protesters say by him not resigning yesterday, it really has, will now force lawmakers to try these, these impeachment proceedings. Um, today, it really seems to be about these protesters. It's not clear what will happen tomorrow. The legislature isn't in session right now. So a lot of questions will you know, have to be answered over the coming days if these demonstrations continue and how long this demonstration drags on into the night. In the last couple of days, we have seen protesters take their concerns directly to the governor's mansion. And in fact, we do expect a crowd in old San Juan 
later tonight taking their concerns directly there. We have not heard from Governor Rosselló today. We did hear from him yesterday. It'll be interesting to see whether today's demonstrations and the size of today's demonstrations change his mind at all. Allison. Gabe, thanks so much for your reporting in the heart of it all. We really appreciate it. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.